the first lesson video of uh, today class we study rock characteristic and we use seismic refraction test to determine the velocity and the thickness of the layer of the rock and with that uh, equation when the velocity increase with the layer depth then we can be able to determine the velocity and the thickness of the layer uh, especially the upper layers and that apply to problem one for today class find the seismic wave velocity and depth of the upper soil layer based on the following refraction seismograph data so they have the distance from the south source to a geophone and uh, the time and that go back to uh, the slide with the the way we set up slide number three how to set up the seismic uh, refraction test to measure the distance and the time in here so from that we can determine the uh, uh, time distance graph based on the information given so let's uh, draw that one out first we need to draw the uh, time distance So the distance in the horizontal axis and the time in a vertical axis for this one. So just here, distance and measure by feet in this problem. And then we have time measure by uh, uh, millisecond. From that one here, we can have uh, in term of scale for distance we have 10 to 80 so from that we can have to uh, distance zero we have 10 20 30 40 50, 60, 70, 80 feet. For time, we have from 5 to 28. 5 to 28, so we have here. So that 10 millimeter second, 20 and 30 millimeter second here so of course that will be 5 this week will be 15 and this will be 25 so the first point 5 uh, 10 so we have first point by 10 then we have uh, 10 20 And we will have uh, 30, 15, 30, 15. And we have 50, 22, 50, 30, 15, and 40, 20, first 40, 20. And then we have 50, 22, so 50, 22, at this point you see the, it already changed the pattern for the relationship between distance and time. And we have uh, 60, 24. We have 70, 26. And the last one we have a 20, 
From that, we can uh, draw a graph between. Yes, so the first layer we have it, you can see it linear, relationship, straight line until 20 seconds, and then slope it changing to here. So apparently, there are two layers, as you can see uh, in here, with the change in the slope of the uh, time distance graph. And from that we can pinpoint this e determine layer one and v velocity one and this e velocity two v two two in here. Then from that graph we know the uh, we can be able to determine the velocity for each layer. So V1 at is say the velocity or speed equal to the distance divided by the time. So to get the speed from 0 to 40, so 40 uh, feet, the time it takes from uh, 0 to uh, 20 milliseconds. So we have to change it to seconds, 0, 0 0.2 minus 0. So you have 20, uh, 100. 2000 feet per second square. So velocity equal to distance divided by time required. Similarly, we can have velocity for the layer number two. It equal to the distance that travel in that layer from 40 feet to 80 feet. So we have 80 minus 40 feet. Distance divided by time required from 20 millisecond to 30 millisecond. So we have uh, to 28 millisecond. That one is 28. 28. So you have will and millisecond. So change it to 0 0.028 minus 0 0.02. And we get uh, 5,000. Feet per second and when we have that uh, we already know the first one seismic wave velocity of the upper layer so from that one this is for the upper layer we know the seismic wave velocity so that the first question asked and then the depth of the upper soil layer go back to the equation here when velocity increase with layer you see the uh, uh, with that equation and in that case, you see V1 is less than V2, which means that the velocity increase when the uh, uh, layer go uh, further depth. So with that, we can be able to determine the, uh, after draw the trap, we can be able to determine the, uh, uh, the depth of the upper soil layer. And that equation, H1, we have with the equation there, D1 over 2, V2 minus V1 over V2 plus V1 square root. So we have D1 over 2, V2 minus V1 over V2 plus V1. So we can plug in the distance d d one. It take uh, from zero to forty feet. So you will have forty feet divided by two. V two five thousand minus two thousand. V two five thousand plus V one two thousand and square root of two. From that we can have the edge. For the first layer, the depth of the layer one is thirteen point one feet, and that is the answer. So that basically, from the seismic refraction set test, we can determine the velocity 
of the seismic wave and also determine the depth of the soil of the rock layer.